how are you guys? I hope you're doing well. I need everyone to stop right now, okay? Go get something to drink, go sit down, go relax, because we're going to have to have a talk today. Let's do it. No one you guys are doing well like I just said um, I'm coming to you today I am a reseller the majority of my income is made from selling things online primarily on the eBay and Poshmark app used to do local sales but not so much so kind of contradictory video I have a massive designer haul of last week I went thrifting I've been thrifting a lot. If you guys don't already follow me, follow on Instagram at Soulful Chic Finds. Like I do a weekly style video. I try stuff on. And I also on a serious note wanted to come and reach out to my reseller community, my reseller family. Come on, give me a hug. Okay, come on. We, we family, right? So I have a couple, you know, I have a small channel. Obviously, I appreciate you guys. Welcome back. If you're new, welcome. Welcome in. Um, I was doing videos a lot, but being a mom and reselling and trying to meet my sales goals, you know, I want to make at least, you know, a thousand dollars a week. So I'm focused normally trying to stay honed in on my goals, listing, sourcing, all that good stuff. Hold on. I need a pair of earrings. Let me find a pair of earrings. Hold on. This is much, much better. Yes. Okay. I feel complete. You know, I need a necklace, but okay, let's stay focused. I do get off track. I try to show everyone on Instagram. It's, it's easier for me to get on there and just do a two minute video, fun, put it to music, edit it, speed it up, slow it down to the music and just make it fun. Because sometimes on YouTube, you know, it's a lot sitting here talking, editing, blah, blah, blah. Like you do so much and you end up, I have so many videos I never post. I won't judge, but I think you should hear this information. So let me just preface this, you know, I'm not a financial guru, nor do I work in the financial field. I do not have a degree in finance. My degree is completely separate. What I do have is 100% faith and yield to the Holy Spirit. I'm, you know, spiritual. You can't just say spiritual because all spirits now are not the same. But I believe in my one true God. Christ died for our sins. You can call me Christian. Um, but I kind of follow my own path as far as the Bible. I just read the Bible. Um, I don't normally follow a religion, if that's what you want to say. I've been in this walk for a couple of years. Don't talk about it here on YouTube because it's not pertinent to reselling. Um, and I do have like a personal journey, which I'm going to be coming out with because I had to come to God and that's another story on how I had to pretty much lean on God for everything. I finally relinquished my life to him. You know, I had been baptized, but I wasn't walking in his, in his ways that he would have me to be right. Everyone is different. I don't judge your religion, your choices. That's on you. We're here to talk about money, reselling your family, right? Making sure you have income coming in. So through my faith, a couple years ago, I had been getting warnings from the Holy Spirit. That's kind of the spirit that imparts on you as you get closer to God. It, it'll tell you, do, you know, do this, go here, do that. I hear it differently than, you know, everyone's different. I'm not here to, you know, you have the devil on your shoulder too. I'm not here to like bring you to the faith, but I'm hoping that this will kind of give you some background as to why we're going over this on a reselling channel because you're like, girl, I want to see some coins, right? I think you should listen. So first things first, um, I have been getting some warnings in the Holy Spirit about things going on in the world. Um, as you can see right now, this is 2020, this is July, early July. We are in a national global pandemic. Can't say the word, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and being in this walk for so many years, I kind of just kept quiet about it. You can call the rabbit hole, people call it conspiracy, whatever. But a lot of things I would see in the world were matching up in the Bible and it was a little crazy. So it takes time to get there. No one's just gonna open the Bible and, and get prophecy. Honestly, it says in the word that you're not gonna have the ears to hear unless you have the Holy Spirit or unless God has given that wisdom to you. So I'm not a date setter. I'm not saying, you know, it's the apocalypse or anything crazy, but I do foresee and I know that things are coming down the pipeline, especially here in America, I'm in the United States with things going on with um, financial, um, spiritual, things like that. As people can see, you know, there's stuff going on. There's riots, there's racial tension. I don't personally feel any of that strife in my daily life. You know, there's no one around me that's sick. There's no one around me that's rioting or anything like that. It's very peaceful. Um, my neighbors and I are different 
colors and nationalities and we all get along fine. There's really no issues. However, around the world, you know, with news and, and certain pep perpetrators, I want to say CNN.com, no, um, certain news outlets are, you know, showing us what's going on in other parts of the world. So now we're having a view of kind of the world and some of the fear that's been kind of spewed out there in the media. And so if this isn't pertaining to you and you're not comfortable with this, then skip ahead to the hall. But just wanted to say there are things going on and God is telling me to prepare. So when I say prepare, um, with the Bible and prophecy, that's another story. There are certain things that are kind of lining up. I'm starting to see some parallels. You know, I'm not a prophet or anything like that, but I do try to pray and I try to just keep communication with God all day, every day. Hence, some of these fines. I'm not saying, you know, God has to do stuff for you because you should be at a point where in your faith, if you're a Christian or however you identify, where you can glorify God without getting anything or getting everything. There's a story of Job. If you guys ever heard of it, this man was allowed by Satan to be tormented, lost his family, lost his house, lost every possession, lost all his servants. He is very, very, very rich. He was very, very, um, he was very, very close to God. God was really had him in high favor. So, you know, the enemy wanted to say, hey, tempt him and say, hey, you're not, he won't worship you. I bet you he'll blaspheme, you know, I bet you he won't worship you if he didn't have everything he had. So God allowed and took the protection off of Job and allowed him to lose everything. And Job, of course, was sad. And the only, you know, his wife even said, you know, curse God, you know, what is this? His friend said, you did something wrong. You know, that's a deeper story. And that takes years to hear again, and a lot of levels and stuff to that. But I'll have you know, you should, uh, you know, I'm trying to get to a place spiritually and strength wise to if I lose it all, if I have hard times, which I've had hard times, if I'm struggling, it's not a reason to abandon God that I continue praying, I continue pressing into him. So God has blessed me tremendously. I don't take any credit at all for anything. So if I find something, I've been finding 500, 600, 800, 900 dollars dresses lately. I'm telling you, it's straight God telling me where to go, where to be. And I'm not saying you should only pray to him for that, but I am blessed that he has blessed me beyond measure. And I am a mom doing it by myself. Um, her dad, you know, is very involved. There's no shade there. I just goes to show that I'm in a position where I should have been completely in a different position and for reselling it's been empowering it's been great it's been able to allow me to be with her when things get hectic i try to pull from god to strengthen me so this is way too long actually the haul might be at the 10 minute mark y'all i'm sorry anyways <laughs> so moving forward i watch a lot of economic channels i watch a lot of stuff with prophecy i watch a lot of stuff and you don't have to heed my warning but i am really 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 caution you to look into some financial trends look into the last great depression look into um some of the the housing um situations so with everything going on things were shut down businesses were closed a lot of people out of jobs and my heart goes out to anyone who was affected like i really do if, if someone's been sick in your family um suffering financially like i am sitting out a prayer and if you want to reach out to me you can you know i can always pray with you my thing is i knew that our economy was in a bad shape before this virus, right? I was watching a lot of money channels, a lot of people who watched the market, you know, things like that, trading, housing trends and things like that. And so with people now going into default on loans, going into default on car payments, people not making payments, um, there's people being faced with eviction, you know, there's a lot of people on unemployment. And I'm glad that, you know, the government did step in and helped with some of these things, but you know, God's telling me this fall might get a little rough and with everything going on, I could get deeper. That's a rabbit hole. I'm not going to go there with everything. I'm not saying everything's going to be great and I'm not trying to be gloom and doom. I'm really not because I come from a place of no fear. I know I'm going to be fine because God has told me that. But with my reselling business, I have made some changes. I'm looking at really selling down my inventory, not to say, you know, to stop thrifting and stop running your business and be in fear and go Go, go run high definitely don't do that still be out um but one of my favorite thrift stores did close you know a lot of businesses are going back with the second wave or continued wave so we saw at the last quarantine you know let's take notes on the last quarantine we saw shutdowns people weren't able to source this is mainly the reseller world people buying buyer confidence um was up and down right so when people saw you know the government stepped in 
we saw a rise in sales when you know buyer confidence people are prioritizing their bills people are prioritizing their rent but people are also at home and they're going to shop so what i've been trying to aim to do in my business are a couple of things so one i've been focusing on um, besides some of these items i am no longer after this week going to be picking up like special event dresses um things that are just kind of one of a kind at this time I'm looking at denim, durable things, shoes, boots, things that are more so essentials in the clothing realm, just to make sure that you're in a good position because I just want to see everyone make a profit. And unfortunately, people aren't really wanting, people really aren't prioritizing used clothing, much less frilly dresses, you know, things for events that unfortunately right now with going into a second quarantine, we may not be able to do now if you want to pick it up you get a steal girl go ahead girl go ahead i am not mad at you i just wanted to come with a fair warning that our economy is not in good shape there are things that are happening a lot of people and even economists i'll put some links below a lot of people are talking about in a lot of people in the financial sector are talking about a financial reset there will be a reset of our dollar there will be changes made. There may be things that are going to be out of our control that will affect our ability to make money. So um, with everything, with, with the, I'm not a financial guru again, this is weird talking about this, but you know, with having, you know, <clears throat> so with the virus and money being printed and, and, st and stimuluses and stipends going out and businesses staying afloat, I just want to caution you our economy wasn't in a good place before a lot of businesses are going out of business i think ann taylor just announced they're closing 1200 stores we already knew victoria's secret wasn't doing good we already knew a lot of these macy's jc penny were, were hitting bankruptcy not just in the fashion sector but all across right a lot of ceos we know hundreds of ceos stepped down last year in 2019 um we know these things right we can go look at the news I, though, don't want us to get in a state of, you know, oh, when everything's back to normal, when everything's back to normal, because it's never going to get back to normal. We're going to always have to adapt in some way. And for me, I want to have things in my store that I love, but I'm also are more necessities. So I wouldn't caution you to stop reselling. You got to make money. People are buying things. I just sold an ace and jig dress and a top. The dress sold for $95 within hours and the ace and jig top because they're normally $200 um, sold $65 sold $65 within a couple minutes so people are buying things right now I could put up shoes or something right now and people are buying I know people who are selling brand new sneakers are getting them at Ross good you know TJ Maxx or getting brand new but arbitrage that's called retail arbitrage when you go to another retail store they're getting their things and they're selling pretty well too um, I say the cup I'll list a couple of things right here that I feel are an essential things that we need in our business and so I'm not trying to say you know I'm right and I'm date setting and I'm per, you know I know the future no I'm saying that I knew that things were shaky before everything went down traditionally this is summer slowdown for us resellers and things have been kind of upside down and that's great for us you know I think God will always pave a way however as things get in the fall primarily September and primarily December God's telling me at the end of this year, things are going to take a dramatic, dramatic turn. Okay. So I'm not saying I know. I'm just saying, here's a fair warning. Let's try to get things essentially. Let's try to get things. We're not spending frivolously, right? I love amazon.com. Trust me. I do, honey. I do. I do. And I'm still supporting black businesses. So I will spend, you know, here and there. I'm like, okay, well, I want this or maybe I want candles or something nice for the house or a new rug. I've been doing a couple of things, but I try to stay honed in, take your money, turn it back into profits, put it back into the store. You know, I would say half, I would say maybe take not notch. Tips for me, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take, I'm going to take down thrifting just a little bit, not, I'm going to take sourcing down just a notch. Uh, I'm going to work on running sales, getting things sold, doubling my sales this week, putting everything that has been in my death pile up, keeping a couple of things, maybe I think that are winter items or more higher end items, maybe putting them aside. So I have like a nice dairy winter coat. Um, I have some boots and some things 
maybe putting those aside to start listing because fourth quarter traditionally is a big for sales for us resellers and that's the time where you want to rev up especially your new tag stuff however i think we should just spend wisely you know no more buying without searching i'm guilty um no more just getting it because it's cute unless you know it's going to sell profit margins trying to take five into 30 versus your five to ten you know, let's try to spend less than $10 or $20 brand new, maybe $30 brand new. I spent $30 brand new on a couple of shoes from Nordstrom sale, and, and but they're $100 in store. So I'm just cautioning you to spend wisely. Next, what I'm doing in my personal life, you could take this or not, it's up to you. I'm going to be gardening i started gardening in the spring i'm growing my own fruits and vegetables inflation right now is is going to happen you know we have a lot more money and currency into the into the flow for me i want to have stuff that i can be self-sustaining and i can be smart about purchasing so why not grow my own tomatoes or mint or just the things that you know that you buy you know mint 249 for the little organic pack so i know okay well let me plant my own so you can buy plants less than ten dollars and you can start your own garden i got a planter i had someone build a planter for me i started gardening a lot and trust me i'm in a place where it's kind of tricky to garden um i started saving more canned foods not running for the toilet paper but getting stuff that i need if something were to happen do i have flashlights do i have batteries do i have you know water stock do i have things that i could sustain my family now the cdc I think it was the CDC or someone, a government entity, I'll put it in the link below, did come out and say, you should have three months of food stock. Like this is our government telling you this, like warning you, like you should always have three months worth of food. So that would be something as money allows you going and getting extra at the store. We saw the shortages in the past. Let's learn from the past and let's move forward. So that's pretty much the talk, what I'm doing now into the hall and be smart about the economy to come. If they don't look up, let's just say hypothetically, you knew that it's time to kind of hone in, get stuff that you need versus stuff that we just want. Stay vigilant, stay focused, you know, as the end of the year closes, the markets are not looking good at all. They haven't been looking good. That's the thing, they haven't been looking good. And it went from a recession to now a lot of people are saying faith and not faith. People are always saying there's a depression on the rise. So learn from the last great depression, what people did, you know, sewing, fishing, hunting, no skills, no, you know, I, some people have guns. I don't condone the weaponry, but you know, have a way to protect your family, have security systems, have, you know, books, right? Tangible books on how to do things just in case. I just realized my lamp was crooked. This That's gonna bother me as I edit this video. Anyways, with that being said, I love you guys. You guys be well, be great, be blessed. And if you have any questions, put them below. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you next time. And with that, I'm out, bye.